Right, thank you for staying with us. Before we went on the break, we were talking about broken promises. Mm. And uh, Mary, you wanted to talk about entitlement, entitlement mentality. mentality. And I wonder at what point promises actually, expectations become entitlement. Entitlement, yes. Because I hear a lot of that, especially on social media. I see a lot of stuff feeling entitled. Mm. And when I read the, the first story, I'm wondering, is this entitlement? You made promise of 500,000 to somebody. You cannot fulfill it. Instead of apologizing or DMing the person that, sorry, I won't be able to do this, so please, oh, and as your boss will say, Kwame Silema, Kwame Sitao, do <laughs> keep it to yourself. You instead go after the person when the person is asking you for it and you say, right. you're feeling entitled. I'm going to cancel my promise. Right. So I think bottom line on both sides, if you want to make a promise, be open about your promises. Yeah. And uh, do not feel entitled when people cannot deliver on their promises. Yeah. Circumstances surrounding them uh, may not have allowed them to deliver at the mm. time that mm. they promised. So you can have that conversation mm. between the person who promised and the person that was being promised. Yes. Uh, uh, have that communication. Communication. Yes. And conversation. And it has mm -hmm. to be as open as possible. We yeah. need to quickly move forward. Then now, we need to excuse people. Right. Yes. Yeah. We need to quickly move forward now. Well... Moving on, the National Youth Service Corps, that's the NYSE scheme, turned 50 this year. And today on the show, the Director General of uh, the scheme, Brigadier General Yushao Ahmed, will be joining us to speak on the scheme's achievements in the last half of a century. The challenges, low points, high points, work in progress, what the current management is doing to uphold the founding fathers' uh, decision or vision for for the scheme. We must thank you, DG of NYC, Brigadier General Yushao Ahmed, for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning once again, and good morning, viewers. Right. Congratulations on the 50th anniversary of uh, the scheme. One would say that's a long time coming for the NYSC. But quickly talk to us. If, from your point of view, uh, the scheme has been able to achieve the vision and the purpose for why it was set up. Yeah, thank you once again. And I think uh, the scheme has actually justified the philosophy behind establishing it. So far, the essence of establishing NYST is to unite this country and uh, as well as uh, integrating our uh, people together. And I think so far so good we have achieved that, uh, that uh, intention because our youth from different countries have been posted to different state of their own. Uh, you will remember on, the, on 1973, the first set of core members posted were just 2,364 to different uh, state of their own. And I think so far we have achieved that unity among ourselves. So many core members have settled in these uh, areas aside of their own states. They have established families, businesses uh, across the country. Aside that one, you look at the education sector from inception to date. When you look at the education sector till today, the, the core members have continued to give their immense contribution because take away NYS to the most of the schools that we have may, may not function well. Uh, the contribution of core members is uh, actually huge in terms of educational sector. When you go to the area of health, the primary health facilities in most of the villages or local government, you will discover that it is the core members that are manning these uh, health uh, facilities. Today, if you take any core member posted to any state, you say you yeah, are re uh, redeploying the core member. So then you receive calls from board commissioners, uh, of the of of, uh, of health of uh, commissioners of uh, health, you receive call from so many uh, stakeholders in so state that you are relocating a core member from their community because of the immense contribution these core members are giving. So the same thing if you go to the area of infrastructure, so many of these core members have carried out CDS community development service where they construct some toilets in the for the for for for, for the community. They construct toilets in the schools, in the dispensary, in the hospitals. In fact, they carry out some of these uh, infrastructural facilities. In, in some cases, where I have seen a core member who constructed road in the rural areas, particularly in uh, some say like in Abuja, a particular core member constructed road of a considerable number of kilometers 
just for the local community that doesn't have road before. But because of the service they sent him there, and he's a well to do somebody, he has decided to take that as a challenge. He opened up the, the community. So in various areas of uh, endeavor, these core members have continued to do their best. Take the issue of entrepreneurship. NYC have created a lot of entrepreneurs where through the skill acquisition uh, and uh, skill acquisition entrepreneurship program. Today, we have on record over 800,000 core members after service that have established their own businesses across the, the nation. And they have become independent and self-reliant of, of themselves. Not only being self-reliant, but they have become uh, employers of labor. So you can see that the multiplier effect of what these core members are doing. So at least we, are, we have phone numbers and contact of these core ESCO members where they have established across the, the, the country. Not only that they have employed uh, uh, others, but also even core members. We used to send core members there to serve under them. So you can see, so by and large, the, 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 the core members or the scheme generally have actually achieved the intention in which it was uh, it was uh, uh, created for or established for. Lastly, you bear me witness the performances of these young Nigerians in terms of uh, election. It has gone a long way in strengthening the electoral process in the country. They have done it in uh, previously in the last general election. The latest one that have been conducted, 75 to 80 percent of the ad hoc staff who are the core members, and they have still, uh, they have received a lot of commendation, both within the country and outside the country. I think uh, National Youth Service Corps have actually uh, achieved what is to set out to achieve. Okay. Um, I, I must commend the, the NYSC. Uh, it's something that I personally do not believe should be scrapped. Uh, I just feel there are certain areas that need to be modified. Uh, NYSC, th there's a particular part where uh, looking at uh, the goals of the NYSC, it talks about uh, promoting self-reliance and uh, in, in as much as trying to ensure that uh, you create employment as well. And it makes me wonder, you mentioned how when people go from place to place, they're able to also explore and create opportunities themselves. But are these opportunities, has the NYSC been able to wade into situations where you try to create opportunities in a land that is not yours and you're not allowed to as much as you would have wanted to? Does the NYSC have a say in that? Say, for example, uh, as uh, a Hausa, a young Hausa man, I want to set up something in, say, another region of the country. If there is this hold back by the people of the community. Is it possible to rely on the NYSC to help make it easier? Is that possible? Very possible. How so? Very, po very possible. Let me tell you, in mm. most cases, mm. in most cases, Nigerians are very accommodating on our own. Most of the problems you see people mention, maybe not having opportunity or having issues, you're going from this area, you have this, and mostly a hearsay, particularly from elites. Mm. I bet you, I am a product of NYC. I saw, just as you did. Yeah. Let me tell you, by the time you go to areas that are different from your own, mm. you will believe with me the people there are accommodating. Me, I have seen it live. Today, you will see me, born and fed indigenous of Kaduna State, Kaduna State, born and brought up in Kaduna State. But my second home or my second state is Ocean State, particularly in Ire. The good people I met in that place are so accommodating. I never thought that could be possible. If today I had wanted to settle and remain in that part of the country, I would have remained. And so if you go all over, that is how it happens. I was here the other time, I met a commissioner of uh, uh, high education in one of the northern states. We were chatting when I went to commission a project. He was telling me, do you know the enormous contribution of these core members? I said, no, sir. I just want to hear from him. Say, I tell you, almost 90% of the private schools in this state are owned by ESCO members. Wow. After service, they remain, establish their school, 
because they have seen the opportunities. They, what they do, they just go for maybe courses to enhance the degree they have. They remain and establish their school. You can imagine, it is a commission telling me, almost 90%. You can imagine the enormous contribution of those uh, Nigerians. Yeah. And you know we don't trust you to your state of origin. These are people that come from other states. Okay, in terms of what NYC is doing to create opportunity, you know we partner with Bank of Industry, uh, Central Bank of Nigeria, Access Bank. Most of these uh, loan facilities, they give these core members loan to facilitate or to encourage the core to establish on their own. So it may be a challenge, but I'm telling you, NYC normally follow up. Hmm. I wonder how many core members are aware of this, but um, I'm sure you wanted to say something. There's, there's, there's sure this. that these okay. core members established. Well, this issue of uh, check and balance, what do they call this evaluation? They come mm -hmm. to evaluate, ensure that the core member is doing well. Where they have issues, they intervene. Then the bank, particularly banking of industry, they give up to 3.5 million to the core member. All they need to do is do a certificate. If we domicile with NYSC, they will not release the certificate until when the core member is well, well established and uh, return back their money before they will now release the certificate without any interest. Wow. So NYC intervene in between the host community, the other the, 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 the financial uh, facilitators and other things. So they, we do this uh, kind of thing to ensure that the core members are settled or the ex-core members remain no important idea. and they find it very easy to establish their business. We do that. Mm. Well, thank you so much, sir. I know that the skill acquisition, the SAID trainings happen on camp mm -hmm. for three weeks. Mm -hmm where youth coppers are actually being trained most times by entrepreneurs in the state yeah. or previous core members. And that's really um, something to, to be thankful for because I personally know some friends that started their businesses based on the fact that they attended Said mm. on camp. Now, speaking of allowance, um, I know youth coppers depend mostly on Alawi, what we, we know as Alawi, right? And from the time I went for NYSC, the cost was the allowance, the salary or allowance really was about 19,000. I know it has increased a bit and even coppers today would attest to the fact that the NYSC has really tried in terms of providing allowance for them. But still, you know, there's still com there are still complaints saying that we want an increase in allowing. So are there plans by the NYSC to increase these costs in, in, in the nearest future, sir? In my last address to four members yesterday in Lagos, here in Lagos, camp, I told them, there is no amount of money you give to anybody that will tell you I'm self-sufficient. <laughs> okay. Nobody will tell you that. Mm -hmm. When I served, during my days, I was giving 7,500. Mm -hmm. Today it's 33,000. And this increment happens the 33 from 19, the one you are collecting from 13,000 mm -hmm. and 19,500 to 33,000 is approved by this present government. I told them, don't wait for increment of allowance. Pick mm -hmm. the opportunities that you will get at the camp. Uh -huh. Even with this 33,000, you can still save something. Yeah. And I believe you can save. There are people out there with families, with children, up to 10 in the in family that cannot, that are not sure of getting 15,000 in a month. We have them in this mm -hmm. country. They are the ones that are so the mm -hmm. they survive. What more of only you expose there to go and serve? Mm -hmm. You can as well do with half of that at the three. Save something, go for skill acquisition, learn something, pick a job. Even at the end of the day when you become employed, you will discover that the money pay given to you, 100,000, 150 is not enough we start to clear their mind from the onset, even in the camp. The mm -hmm. lectures we give them were very uh, calculative, where it is very deliberate. We make sure we explain some of this to them. And you can see from their gestures, some of them are coming to understand what we are talking about. We have told them that there is, there, are life, there is life after service or after camp. And at the same time, there is life after service. Don't misuse this opportunity. Mm. For bringing you to come and even serve for one year is a very good opportunity. If you can save 10,000 10, out of that 33,000, and it's something, and you receive your loan, it's something. You are beginning with millions. There are people today, if they can get 100,000, is enough for them to make life better for themselves, and they can employ others. We have seen people flying Akara. They have sponsored their children to schools. Yes, sir. 
So I have told them that they are well aware of some of these things. So the issue of increment of allowance, till the end of your life, you continue asking for increment. You will never be self-sufficient, but get something and be doing for yourself so that you can take care of your problem. Mm. So even the workers, the we that we are working today, we are receiving salary, one way or the other, those that are serious, you ensure that you have another thing, at least things that will not distract you from your office work, but at least you must pick something that will contribute to whatever thing that you are earning. So that we have already made it clear to core members, instead of always going to ask for, for increment of allowance. When the opportunity comes for increment of allowance, definitely it will come. When this government increased this allowance, there was no deliberate effort to insist on the increment of this allowance. But the government, when they see that they have increased the civil service uh, servant allowance, they have decided on their own to say, these are graduate, let us move their allowance upward. I believe whichever government that comes, when they do similar things, they will definitely remember the core members. Mm -hmm. However, their welfare, security is always our concern. Right. Now, as much as there's so much that uh, the NYSC has achieved in the past 50 years, there are those who still do not think that uh, the scheme has done so much. Uh, they think that it has outlived its purpose. What do you say to them? Is either they have not served, or they wanted to serve, they have not gotten the opportunity to serve. But I doubt if any meaningful Nigerian have gone through service. As of today, we have well many Nigerians that have served this, in this, that have served or passed through this scheme. They are up to 5,689,680 in number that have served this country. I doubt much if any of these persons that have passed through this scheme will advocate for the scrapping of the scheme. And even those that have attempted to bring up the matter, what was the response? It, di it died a natural death. And I believe the majority of Nigerians will stay leave NYC. Try self-efficacy. Mm. pray for it. If you try it, you know the event or know what will follow. At least some of the achievement or the contributions of the core members that we are talking about in health sector, education sector, infrastructure, entrepreneurship, where do you go and uh, get those uh, contributions? How do you go about it? How do you go about it? Look at the election process. Ordinarily today, if you say you do this election, how much are you going to pay them? The credibility of the people that you are going to pick. How do you now pick somebody from Oyo State and take him to an to Anambra said go and conduct election? Or do you want to pick somebody from Sokoto and now send him to go to Bayelsa to conduct election just for the sake of holding election? Mm -hmm. The person you are picking in the first place must have must have a bias, must have a party, must have an individual that you want to vote for. Mm -hmm. Core members are apolitical. They are neutral. Their concern is to do their own service and get out of the, the wherever they are, except if they have any reason to remain. Fine. So politics is not their own. Their concern is that service and get that certificate. Mm -hmm. So if you want to now say you want a credible election, the process now, no, no compass. How do you want to start? Do you want to go and uh, recruit vigilante, maybe in the north, to carry them to go to the west or south or east to go and do election? Or you want to carry a motoku to go to, what is he called, to go to the east to go and conduct election? Or you carry Niger Avengers, you go to Sokoto, go and do election? But there are only issues. You know, definitely, you will not get what you are looking for. But the best structure is already laid down. It's already on ground. And that is what we are reaping, the fruit of that structure. So whoever that is talking about that issue of scrapping is just looking for doom for the country. As far as mm. that's my view anyway. But, but there have been complaints of uh, some of this uh, youth core members being used to mm. um, carry out activities during elections, to change figures, to do one thing or the other. Have you heard such stories? How does the, uh, the scheme, how do you come in with addressing that aspect? Please give me one example. Of that allegation. Give me one example where it was alleged co member went to change the result. This happened, this happened, and the co member was taken to the to the to the court and he was found guilty. Give me one example. Mm -hmm. The one you are talking about, the one I know recently, is the one in Abuja. Co member was beaten to nonsense. When I saw the video, I thought that co member is dead. I was at uh, Blood One as wait. 
only for the same coordinator to call me and tell me that the school member there were three, two boys and a girl. The two boys were badly beaten. The girl wanted to go and inter intercept to rescue the boy. That was what a good Samaritan la a lady called her and drag her away. Said, Are you out of your senses with this mob? They will kill you here. As they were talking, some bad boys came around, stole her phone, removed her wristwatches, and other things. As I tell you, this co member, when the police intercepted, he made some arrests there of people around. The person, even that alleged that this co member was stamping, he was just stamping the ballot paper that legally he was asked to do. I, they ask, where are the thumbprinting? No thumbprinting. They made some arrests. We treated the co member, nothing like that. So if you have one, please just tell me so that now I will know. Then I will tell you what uh, I can say with that. Mm. Out of the whole election, one that was prosecuted or taken to court and proving that he has done wrong. So, um, I'm waiting for you. Thank you very much, sir. I have a two part question. The first one is on the issue of security of youth corps members. Uh, you just mentioned yeah. an incident that took place in Abuja. Uh, in certain yeah. uh, situations where core members find themselves in uh, precarious situations. There's always the, you're on your own until the NYC of that state can actually wade in. But what is being done in between to ensure that these this, um, core members are secure? There used to be a time when you being a core member, everyone around takes responsibility for you. So much so that if something goes on, they say, I leave that one, is a copper. Or leave that one, she's a copper. But it's no longer the case. Coppers are now being treated like, no exceptions. And so you wonder what is being done to ensure that they are safe wherever it is they may be posted to. The society keep evolving. Situation keep changing. Unlike those days when we serve, they see you in uniform, you are you are a no-go area. Yes. I quite agree. I quite agree with you. Mm. We have we have uh, uh, we have uh, let, let me say benefited so many things with mm. our uniform. You just stand somebody sighted that uniform and say, Copper, come on, enter, where are you going? Mm. Yeah. It will give you right. These days, it's a DG and every staff that will tell the community, don't enter free right. Because mm. of the society, you want to change this. Mm. Because we want the community to be safe. Let me tell you, there's nobody that will take care of your security more than you taking care of your security. Absolutely. The best is. So, the first thing that we do is to tie these communities from the camp. We give them security lectures. Every camp we ensure security lecture is given to core members. Where and what and what to do and what not to do were exposed to the core members. Mm -hmm. The societal evils, things that are happening, we try to conscientize them to draw their attention to it. That is the first step we have taken in terms of security. Secondly, you, I want to reiterate that NYSC have a strategic collaboration with all the security agencies in the country, mm -hmm. agencies in the country. All the military, the police, the SSS, the civil defense. We in the army, generally, we take the core members as officers. That is why every time we tell officers, we, say, we tell, uh, what is it called, core members, whenever you are in a journey where you're traveling, once it is 6 p.m., ensure you branch and sleep before you, the next day you continue your journey. And mm -hmm. if there's Mm. Mm. You're just speaking yes. to the matter of uh, security of military uh, barracks, military barracks, Antonio Park. It's your soccer home. And that is why, you know, we have soldiers' club, we have officers' mess. Mm. If your copper comes today to serve in the military, I'm telling you, he is entitled to go to the officers' mess. That is why they are being treated as officers. Mm. That has not changed. It is part of our regimentation. Mm. So, wherever they find themselves, that is very okay. So, the step we have taken, that strategic collaboration with security agencies is there. The recent, uh, the last election, general election, when we had some issues in some state, particularly where our core members were kidnapped, you will be aware that uh, both Army, uh, DSS, police, we were on that matter, nobody has arrested. Army throughout sent uh, troops into the bush to look for them. Along with the DSS. The same thing with the police. Nobody arrested. 
until those core members were rescued and brought back. Two days after that one, another one happened in the contiguous state. A core member was just traveling. Unfortunately, she fell into the hands of all these uh, attackers. What happened? She was so smart enough, she went into her Google and gave us her, her location and sent some of the conversation. Even the disposition of the attackers, she was able to do a little video of some seconds and send to us. It was that video and the location that we were able to send to the army within the state. I'm telling you, in less than 24 hours, they, they, they were rescued. That game right. was rescued. Same. So, in terms of security, we are doing a lot. And the security agencies are always on top of the situation. The last, the last interview I had, I told you, when core members at, uh, in Sokoto wanted to go to uh, Lagos, there was this issue of, of uh, uh, weather problem. They spent three days at the, at the airport, unknown to the state coordinator. Until when this information came to him, he quickly alerted me. I said, what are you waiting for? The next thing is that he went to the brigade within the Sokoto, he informed the brigade commander that they need security. He has talked to the parents of these children in the form group in Lagos. They were all going to Lagos. When he called them, they said, yes, they asked them to wait there because they prefer them to travel uh, on the air because of the security problem. He said, okay, we, since the issue of weather cannot be resolved now, they can't continue staying at the airport. We want to provide them with security down to Abuja, where they can move back to left. They say, perfect. Huh. They agree with that situation. And army provided that security from Sokoto down to Abuja. Oh, wow. Thank you Until so they much. get to the airport. And they were taken back to Lagos safely. So the security of core members is always our priority. And the security agencies, the collaboration we're having, they're always at the top of the situation. Well, Thank, you so, much, Thank yeah. you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. NYC is 50 years. Um, can you quickly highlight the next 50 years, the plan for the next 50 years going forward for NYC, and what are we to expect as um, people that have gone through NYC and people looking forward to send our children to go for NYC? Well, uh, so far so good. As you are aware, yearly we produce not less than 350,000 core members every year. So our plan now is the core members we are producing today, after service, they will not go back and be looking for a job outside. That is one. Fantastic. The issue of quality job. We are trying to ensure and uh, insist that the issue of this skill acquisition entrepreneurship program is enhanced in such a way that these core members will have we pick a train of their uh, of their choice, so that after service they become they will not become uh, uh, liability or seeking for job. They they become, they, become, you know, they will become employers of labor. We want to uh, ensure the training we are giving the income training that you mentioned, the income sensitization uh, entrepreneurship training we are giving to the income. And then the post camp, it doesn't end at the camp. We have post camp training. That is where the rigorous training even takes place. So we are trying to ensure that we, 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 we give this training of post camp training to core members so that after the service, they become employers of labor, not people seeking uh, for job. That is the more reason we always pray every time we talk this issue of trust for issue of trust fund, the ascension of trust fund by Mr. President. Once this thing is assented to, I bet you some of this collaboration that we're having with Bank of Industry, some banks, central bank, is not going to, we are not going to wait for such a, uh, this thing. We will, within the scheme, since we will have the fund, we will ensure that this opportunity is given to more number of Nigerian or ESPO, uh, ESPO members after training to establish. So Nigeria will be expecting a rapid national development at the end of the service, where you have thousands of entrepreneurs already coming into the, the society, ready to establish and employ uh, orders, they become employers of labor. So all I'm saying is that we pray before the end of this uh, administration, we get the trust fund uh, signed, and it will be a very good omen for the country and for everybody that is looking forward for the development of Nigeria.
All right. Amen. That's so, amazing. Right. Amen. Very commendable. An amazing one there. So what's your advice and uh, anniversary message to core members? Well, I will tell the core members to remain focused, dedicated, ready to give their best to the country. And even the ESCO members, the 5,689 ESCO members that we have, they should please assist these core members in any way they can. And 5 million, sorry, 5 million, 689,688 out there. You are part of them, oh, don't forget. <laughs> you should give, That's true. <laughs> yes, give your support to NYSC, your core members, the NYSC as a scheme so that we move this scheme forward. If you have any better ideas that you think we can do better anywhere, please, uh, your ideas are welcome. Mm. Always awesome. take it and do something. It is a project for all Nigerians. And don't forget, we have started. We have a department called the NYSC Ventures. Mm. They are into they are into so many things that uh, they carry out. Sometimes now, some of our camps, we don't wait for any bread from anybody. We produce our bread. We wow. produce our water. Wow. We produce our water by ourselves. Awesome. So many things that we do. We chicken, we produce, we have our farms, we have our chicken, our eggs. Some of these things we no longer uh, uh, ask contractors to bring it to That's our amazing. camp again. It is it's our ventures that are producing this. So I'm telling you, NYC of today is not the same NYC of yesterday. You know, if, uh, we, we find... Aware, we are remitting a very good amount of money back oh, wow. to the consolidated account that we are generating from these ventures. We are not just eating the money per se. No! Whatever <laughs> we generate, we contribute, we contribute our quarters. We ensure whatever thing that we do, we send back to the federal government account. So we are contributing our bids. Well so done. we find this very commendable. We must commend you for all of these. However, we know that at, uh, when, when we have activities in Nigeria, there's always a lineup of uh, activities, things that we're going to do to celebrate. So NYSE at 50, could you run us through the line of activities that have been planned for this year's celebration? No, I don't have the program here, but let me see if I can remember. Tomorrow is the 15th of uh, May, which is Monday. No, sorry, not tomorrow, Monday. It's the opening ceremony where we have the Golden Jubilee Lecture. Mm. Professor Atai Jaga is our guest lecturer there. He will be there tomorrow and on Monday to, to start the program. On Tuesday, 16th of May, we have this uh, health initiative program uh, at Jahi village in Abuja. We are hoping the wife of Mr. President will be there to kick, uh, to kick off the, 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 the program. Mm. And after in the afternoon, uh, we have is uh, media party in our NDHQ headquarters in Maitama. Mm -hmm. Then on Wednesday, which is the 17th of May, we have the commissioning of the ICT centers. Our ICT center for more than uh, 30, 40 years used to domicile in the area 11. We have constructed a new ICT center in the headquarters, and we're expecting uh, General Dr. Yakubu Gawan will commission that ICT center. Wow. We also, on the, the four, we do not yet confirm. I may not be able to say much on this because we are hoping to have this President Honors Award. We are waiting the presidency to give us uh, clearance that that day the Mr. President will be available. Then uh, that is on Thursday. Then if that day remains, it is our President Honors Award to honor outstanding core members. Then on Friday, we are on the 19th of uh, May, we have Jumat prayers and uh, novelty football match. The Minister of uh, Youth and uh, Sport Development uh, team and that of NYSC team. We are going to have a novelty match. And uh, uh, I think uh, on Saturday, if I can remember, we have the, the award night. The NYSC have sent some uh, individuals, outstanding individuals in the country who have done well for the scheme and the country within the scheme to award this uh, individual. And we're expecting that the uh, SGF uh, 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 Boss Mustafa uh, to commission, uh, uh, to, to be the guest of honor in that, uh, in that occasion. Mm -hmm. Then on, on Friday, we have, on Sunday, we have the Thanksgiving, that is on the 21st of uh, May, we have the Thanksgiving. At the end of everything, we we'll go to church and pray to God to, for everything that has given uh, NYC 50 years to date.
I think those, those are the brief uh, uh, breakdown of the rundown of the activity that we have for the uh, uh, adversary. Wow, makes me want to be a copper again. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting one. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to leave the conversation here now, but we must thank you, DJ of NYSC, Brigadier General Yushao uh, Ahmed, for your time on the program. Thank you so much and uh, well done on what you do for the National Youth Service Corps. Thank you very much. But don't forget, if you have make up your mind to come back, well, we can uh, we'll accept you, please. <laughs> <laughs> really now? <laughs> two, three, two, three minutes, uh, two, three minutes, month to, 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 to serve again. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm interested. You're welcome. <laughs> ah, you're welcome. Let, me, let me receive you and listen. Okay, no problem. Like your call up numbers. <laughs> we'll send that information across to you. <laughs> thank, you thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very you. much. You. Well, it, it's been an interesting one it all, all through yes. today. And now we can get back to continuing, continuing with activities for our weekend. You're going back on radio. Yes, I'm going uh, on radio. If you can, you can listen to me. I'm going to be live on Max FM, okay? So you can listen online via max123.fm. So now use her radio voice. Yes. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to look and say, wait, who is speaking now? <laughs> well, yes, please, if you can, just listen. I, I should be live on air in the next uh, 10 minutes. Yes. All right, all right. Toby, it's going back to... Yes, George. going back to my regular weekend mommy activities. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go house hunting now. Well, this is where we draw the curtains on the program. Thank you for being a part of it. We'll see you next week. Yes. Bye. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.